is in a commonly used term in our society. It's, wrong. it's like a cat and mouse game at times. Honourable member. And so, in, on previous occasions, <coughs> when it's time for another member to speak, once one has finished, I've been very careful and deliberate to monitor what is happening in terms of who would rise. The Honourable Member for Number 3 finished, clearly finished his presentation. There was a pause. I waited, I looked. The Honourable Member for, Nick, for St. Christopher 1 rose to his feet ahead of anyone else. He clearly did so. I do not want any interruptions. And I'm going to rule that I'm going to call on the Honourable Member for St. Christopher 1 to speak. Because he clearly rose to his feet. I recognize the Honourable Member for St. Christopher 1. I would like to speak. We have Senator wanted to speak I before me. I want to speak. I'm elected to be inside here. After all, that is ridiculous. And it's the only decision you expect to hear. Is it not right? People want to speak. We want to speak. Honorable members, I'm on my feet. I've clearly indicated what my decision is because it is clear to me what happened so i'm not going to go over my ruling i am recognizing the honorable member for saint christopher one to speak and to which he will do on the standing order item right of reply mr speaker may i draw to your attention honorable member i also wish to speak Honourable member, you Honourable member, you're out. To speak. You're out of order. Is this a race out of order, you want for Mr. Speaker? So what? Finish having to raise my feet to be able to speak? In what way am I out of order? Because I, I want to speak. There wasn't any inordinate delay. There wasn't any inordinate delay. There wasn't. I mean, this cannot be right. How much right. times are we going to tolerate this? It cannot be right. It cannot be right. Need to speak in this parliament. Why are you shouting when people speak? Come on, man. You want to speak? You say it's not a contentious thing. You want to speak? Even you, if you see others want to speak, why do you have to speak? Why do you have to do it? Why is it necessary to do that? Nobody playing any cat and mouse here. The gentleman was writing so much. Two hours, ten seconds ahead of writing so much. I am. I am on my feet. The house would fall silent, please. <clears throat> Honourable members, for the last time, I'm going to indicate that I have ruled. I recognize the Honourable Member for St. Christopher 1, and there shall be no interruptions. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I don't understand. Uh, the bill before us, Mr. Speaker, as intimidate, intimated earlier, is not a contentious bill. And Mr. Speaker, I am going to discipline that member. While he is speaking? Okay. We can say another word while Honorable members, member for St. Christopher III has disrespected my authority and my ruling yes. by speaking after I clearly warned him that I do not want any further interruption. Notwithstanding that he has left this parliament, I would still exercise my authority and I am going to apply 
section 49 4a because what you ask me to withdraw it is because it is wrong. what you don't know the rules you apply the rules you like you cannot apply without asking me to first he withdraw the rules. he doesn't know the rules and you Honorable member, member from number one was speaking stop abusing the rules of the house it is not necessary you have to ask me to withdraw first and i have to deny that before you can go to any other officer rules. could you can you, know, you escort the member you don't the, have that member. authority unless you put it to the rules Honourable members, I am applying section 49.4, but I need to refer to 49.3 prior to that which states if on any occasion the speaker or the chairman considers that his or her powers under the previous provisions of the standing order are inadequate the speaker may name such member for disregarding the authority of the chair under the standing order in which event the procedure prescribed in the next succeeding paragraph should be followed and it is my humble and considered opinion that i do not need to firstly suspend a member or ask a member to leave this chamber i am satisfied that i can move directly to sections 43 and 44 because the behavior just now was grossly disorderly and so there was no need to first ask the member to to leave for the rest of the sitting which the earlier sections referred to the behavior was such of such gross disorder i am moving to section 40 49 4 and so i would ask a minister to rise and name that member, the Honourable Member for Number 3, Congress Maynard. Mr. Speaker, I rise to move the motion. And in moving the motion, I trust, Mr. Speaker, that the records of this Honourable House will record the last person who was named in this Parliament in the minutes, and so too in the following minutes for this Parliament must so be named in the minutes. I, Mr. Speaker, am satisfied that there is a deliberate attempt, a deliberate attempt by the members of the opposition to create in this house a situation for them to cause it to rule, to continue their discourse on public radio, disparaging the conduct of the house and the speaker of this house. I am satisfied, Mr. Speaker, that it is an intention, deliberate intention, and in speaking and moving this, this, the, the, this motion, Mr. Speaker, that he be so named, the Honorable Member for Number 3, who had already spoken. Yes. I, I trust, Mr. Speaker, that the records will so, so record fully in the minutes that they have been so named. And Mr. Speaker, I want to, as someone who, uh, who observes the rules and who is a champion for observing the rules, I want to, to, to point out to the general public that there is clearly a misunderstanding by the members of the opposition of how the rules work. You are absolutely right. You do not have to go to rule one if the behavior is sufficiently disrespectful of this house. You are so right. You can go straight to that rule if the other rules are not sufficient. They do not understand the rules and want to come to talk to you about rules. You are absolutely right. I give my full support for the member to be named in this house. Thank you very much, Honorable Leader of Government Business. And so the Honorable Congressman Maynard, member for number three, has been named 
and having been named, it means he's automatically suspended from this house for five consecutive days. I stand corrected. Was the member named before? The Honorable Congressman had named before? On some previous... Okay, we'll check the records on that. For if he was named prior, the suspension is 10 days. And for the record, if a member is named for a third time in this Honorable House, they... Let me read the section so that we are clear on it. And I would be in 4C. If such a motion is carried, that's the naming of a member, and the member is suspended, his or her suspension on the first occasion shall continue for the fifth day, meaning five consecutive days. On the second occasion, until the expiration of the tenth day, ten consecutive days, on which the assembly sits after the day on which he or she was suspended. And on the third or subsequent occasion, until the National Assembly resolves that such suspension be terminated. And so, if in fact the Honorable Member was named prior to this, and this is his second <coughs> naming, the House, and he's named a third time, it, is, it would be left up to the House to determine how long that suspension would last for. So I just wanted to read that into the records. And I completely agree with the leader of the opposition, sorry, the leader of government business, that I see this behavior as calculated to bring this house into disrepute. Yes. And on the matter just now, the Honorable Member for St. Christopher, one, Chris, St. Christopher one, Mr. Ian Leibert, in fact, slowly, very slowly rose to his feet looking at them, waiting on one of them to speak. It was so clear. And so, what else could that be but deliberate action to bring this house into disrepute? I'm satisfied in the judgment, in the ruling I've given just now. Continue, Honorable Member for St. Christopher. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, as I rise with your permission, sir, to wind up the debate on this bill, it's quite obvious from the presentations. Honorable oh, Member, forgive me. My mind is just clear. The Honorable Member for number three, Mr. Mena, was in fact named previously. I could recall on an adjournment, a previous adjournment, where he was allowed to make a contribution on the adjournment, in which he congratulated some of his constituents, I think some school children. He did then venture into um, breach of the standing orders, and I in fact warned him at that time, and he was named. I think I'm, I'm correct with that. He was named at that time. He had left Parliament prior to the adjournment for some time and came back on the adjournment. I believe it might have been at the budget sitting. So this, in fact, would be his second naming, and so he's automatically suspended for um, 10 days. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS. St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.